real estate market cycles. I'm going to start sharing my screen and then we will go further. So if you look at this little slide, basically we have a bell curve here. And you know, this is the real estate market are in a bell curve shape. We always start down here in the recovery portion. Think of 2008 at the bottom of phase one, right? And around 2010, we were two points higher. As we started to grow our markets, we came up to where most markets are in 2021 at equilibrium you know, or just one point before that or after. In phase one, we are in recovery. We just come out of recession and now we are starting to recover. So as our NOI, you can see this is the vertical line. Our income or our NOI grows. We start to get reduced vacancies or occupancies increase. We are not getting more, we are now getting more demand for apartments. As we get more demand for apartments, our vacancies start to absorb. We will start to see the rent growth. As the rent grow, the NOI start to grow as the occupancy gets above the long-term occupancy average of the market. The NOI continues to come up because as more units are filled, Demand and supply says that when we have more demand than you have supply, the rent will grow. So as the rent grows, rents grow and the NOI comes up, we get to a point in the market where we can afford new developments. Now we are in phase two, the expansion phase. When a market gets above the long-term occupancy average and is one on the left side of equilibrium, it is considered to be in the expansion phase. New construction starts here because now developers see that there is enough meat on the bone, that they can make some money and build apartment complexes. As they build, rents are still climbing because they are not delivering yet. So the market starts to accelerate pretty quickly then you start to see some deliveries at the next point in phase two. As the units are being delivered, rents are starting to level off because, because more units are being put in the market. There is absorption taking place at a faster pace now. So as deliveries are happening, units are being filled and managers start to create concessions because they are trying to fill these units. You will start to see the rents start to level off a little bit. And as rents level and the absorption slows down, the market gets to that point of equilibrium where demand and supply, supply are equal. Nobody has ever been able to pinpoint when that point occurs we can pinpoint equilibrium after it occurred and identify points before it occurs. For the circle between 2008 and 2022, I can tell you that in the United States, we passed equilibrium in the apartment market around Valentine's Day of 2022. As we start to go into phase three oversupply, Absorption is no longer keeping up with the deliveries and rents are slowing down. Rents may still be positive, but you start to see some weakness. As units continue to deliver, and because builders did not recognize equilibrium, now the market cannot keep up with the absorption. The rents start to decrease, people start moving out, causing higher vacancy, and when and we go into phase four recession as the market drops below the long-term occupancy average. This is the shortest phase of the cycle. And like equilibrium, it is very difficult to predict the bottom. The timing from recovery to equilibrium is the long-term part of the bell curve. And then term is much more shorter from equilibrium to the bottom of the recession. It is kind of like trying to climb a mountain and then going down 
as a slide. So if this image was drawn more to scale, there would be much shallower part of the bell curve to a very steep part of the bell curve on the other side of the equilibrium because we tend to grow through oversupply and recession fairly fast. These are four different cycles. One is recovery, second is expansion, third is oversupply, and fourth is a recession. We have our long-term occupancy average line. We have our NOI line, our point of equilibrium, and our point of new development. If you, if you see, um, if you see uh, the chart given by Dr. Mueller, Dr. Mueller with the University of Denver puts out a market cycle chart every quarter. You can see that in phase three hypersupply, he has about one third of the markets and equivalent in two thirds of the markets. 